on June 25th, we have uh, King of Table 4, set by uh, Core Sports and uh, Larry Wheels with the help of uh, Adam Silver. They put an amazing event together. They got uh, three big super matches, uh, one of them being probably the biggest arm wrestling match in history. We got uh, LeVon going against Devin Lorette. And uh, that is the big main event. And uh, I just got to ask you, brother, uh, what's your uh, prediction on that match? I still think, uh, you know, a lot of people switch their answers. My, my answer still stays the same. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a more of fact-supported guy. So I, I, I try to keep my emotions out of it as much as I would love. As much as I would love, you know, something like a movie come out where Devon comes out victorious. I don't know, has he filled the gap of strength? Because the gap of strength is like a big deal. So that's the only thing. Both of them are great armisters. Devon has way more endurance. Devon can play better games. Devon can get some better positions. I just think Levon is way stronger. How much he has filled that gap, we will know on June 25th. Till then, my choice is still Levon, but if if anyone can do it and it's bringing in physicality, bringing mental warfare, all those things, it's Devon, it's no one else. So I'm super excited for that match. Uh, I want to be surprised, you know, I really want to be surprised, but uh, my, my, my mind is telling me just, you know, right now stick to Levon as the winner that I'm picking, but if I'm wrong, that would be awesome. <laughs> Hell yeah. Let me ask you, do you think all the, the mind games that are going on with uh, Devin, you know, playing like kind of like a Jedi mind tricks with uh, LeVon, do you think they're going to play any effect in it? Are, are they doing anything to LeVon or LeVon's just uh, ignoring it and not letting it get to him? I spoke to him like last week and uh, he, he was very chill. And uh, when I asked him, like, are you, he's like, um, you know, you know, he's a, he, he's super nice guy, like super nice guy. And he knows Devin is doing this to promote the match and everything else. And, you know, but I think he's angry. I, I think, <laughs> I think he will be angry. So uh, of course, Devin wants that, but by making him angry, you know, you sometimes you like, uh, I, I don't have to think like you, you look at Devon in, let's say, 2018, and you look at Levan 2020, you're like, no chance. Absolutely no chance. And he can come into the match like, you know, I don't need to train that much. I should be fine and everything else. And, and out of nowhere, Devon comes in. This time, I think <laughs> Devon woke up the beast. Beast is very, very much ready. And... We'll see how that turns out. But uh, for sure, you know, when to someone's talking smack and in a match, he's going to talk a lot of shit. I think that's going to be awesome. And I, ca I can't wait for that. And I want to see those reactions. I want to see how they, you know, because Dennis didn't play any of those games. Dennis, like, I, I think he understands enough English to, to understand those games. But he was so composed and everything else. You look at that match and you look like, oh, my God, he handled that match very, very well. You know, what do you uh, what do you think with uh, did you just see the, the bedtime story Devin made and, uh, you know, towards Levon and at the end, the end of the story, you know, he uh, Levon turned into a pussy cat and, you know, that's all stemming from uh, their their beef before over yeah, the contract yeah, yeah. and uh, Devin yeah. calling uh, Levon a pussy. And then Levon saying, you could, you know, you could get killed uh, where I'm from, calling another man a pussy. So, of course, you know, Devin in this slick kind of way uh, made up a, a little bedtime story and uh, and threw in at the end, you know, Levon turned into a pussycat. So uh, what do you think, bro? Do you think he's going over the line with that? Or do you think, you know, it's all fun and, you know, we're attracting a lot more eyes on this match? Of course, we're attracting way more eyes. Uh, and I... I, I, I think Levon understands that. I, I don't think he understands. He thinks like Levon is mean or bad or, you know, hates him or, you know, wants to disgrace him or anything. Uh, but there's a cultural difference. Like wherever you go, there's cultural difference. There are some things that, you know, I'm fine with and other people's will not be fine with. So, you know, when we talk about, you know, Canadians, Americans, it's, you know, fuck this, fuck that. No one takes it to heart, you know, oh, fuck you, you know. But for them, they're like, you know, so 
we'll see because uh they got pretty angry i talk about with georgians uh back in the east versus west three and <laughs> they were pretty angry about it so i hope it, it doesn't go <laughs> escalates already oh sorry let's escalate this let's make this the biggest event that you know possible let's have like um conor mcgregor uh like bus moment where he throws something at it, like in a press conference or anything. Let's do that. Let's let's have some fun. But no, I, I just want those guys to get on table, arm wrestle. Uh, it's all in fun and games. And I think no no one respects Levan more than Devon. And I think Levan respects Devon as much. But sometimes, you know, you don't know how much you're going to cross that line with someone, you know. Even, even when Ryan was pulling uh, Lachlan, you know, he kind of went over a line and Lachlan got angry about it, you know, because he, he got a little of, physical. Yeah, it got a little he heated. Got a little too much. And like, you know, because it was still been a great match. But again, put more eyeballs on it. I was I was yeah. I was going for European championship and I was riding in my car for like eight hours. And I took it on my phone, stopped just to watch the match. And like someone's going to get knocked out. <laughs> Hell yeah. And uh, I got that. I know Lachlan pretty well. And, uh, you know, Lachlan's not one to back down at all. So, you know, uh, bumping the chest with Lachlan, dude, he could end bad for you. <laughs> he's he's a medium sized pit bull, you know, you know, yeah. so we might be smaller pit bulls. He's medium sized pit bull. Yeah, yeah, yeah. there you go. So um, we got two other big matches on that card that I, I kind of want to touch on. But uh, actually, I had one question for you, Coach Ray. You might be able to answer this for me. For uh, the devin Levon match, um, did they ever work out the whole auto strap? Because uh, I know that was a controversy, but uh, are we doing the 30-second auto strap on the match? So I think if, if it was an original agreement, they should honor it. Because, you know, <laughs> Devin put me in, he was like, I remember I it was king of table three or something. I got in my room. I'm a little bit drunk. They're doing fix episode. I got in. He's like, Ray, you single-handedly destroyed our wrestling. I'm like, I'm like, chill, chill. I'm like, I don't know what's going on. And I just thought, you know, if it's in a contract, it doesn't matter what they change because it's in the contract. So most likely they will talk about those rules. They can, in, in my opinion, it, it favors Levon, if they just go auto strap all the time, because the hand, like everything he can do without the strap, I think he can do better in the strap. But we'll see. I, I think it's like I, I can wait for a press conference and I can't wait for a rules meeting because you know those things are gonna be awesome. <laughs> and I have yeah, the front gonna... seat in it, so. That's going to be interesting to see where where we end up, at, uh, where it goes off as. Are they going to do the auto strap? Does Devin get his way or, you know, does Levon get his way? That That's definitely going to be interesting.